Kurdish separatists attacked a police complex in southeastern Turkey overnight, killing at least six people and wounding dozens. This is the most sophisticated attack since violence flared up between insurgents and the Turkish state last July. The Kurdistan Workers' Party, or PKK, struck a police station and lodgings for security officials in the province of Diyarbakir Wednesday night, first with a car bomb and then with long-range weapons, the provincial governor's office said Thursday. The Kurdish insurgent strike follows an Islamic State suicide bombing Tuesday in Istanbul, which killed 10 people. These back-to-back -back attacks highlight the mounting security challenges for Turkey. The government is cracking down on the PKK in the country's southeast, where it also seeks to seal off its border with Syria to cut off a key Islamic State supply route. Islamic State attacks have killed more than 140 civilians in the last eight months, while the PKK's strikes with bombings and explosive devices during the same period has caused the deaths of about 100 security officials. The PKK, which is listed as a terrorist organization by Turkey, the U.S., and the EU, didn't immediately claim the overnight attack.